important to understand what the 5G is doing and what they say it's doing. We're told on the IEEE beam forming document that this technology cooked your eyes like eggs in World War II. And you all need to understand these are military weapons, these are assault frequencies. If you garner nothing more than that, that's what you need to know. It's microwave radiation warfare, this is what this is. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming to the National Press Club Federal Communications Commission Chairman Tom Wheeler. It's an honor uh, to be here um, at the National Press Club. The first generation wireless 1G was voice. The second generation 2G allowed both talk and text. The third generation, 3G, the internet, in a limited way. And today's technology, 4G, completed that digital migration. But if anyone tells you that they know the details of what 5G is going to become, run the other way. I have to tell people, 5G is a killer. I'm Mark Steele. Anybody who hasn't heard me, I'm a weapons systems head-up display expert, one of the leading experts in the world. I've actually brought cover in relation to this, and the reason I became an expert was to invent them. What I'm going to say to you today, do not believe a single word I say. Not one. I want you to do your own research. You'll find it's absolutely terrifying. We're now at a stage where we're putting in what's called 5G, which is a special type of broadcast for high density information transfers and it turns out that this is the same frequency bands that are used in crowd dispersal weaponry. And it is also a sophisticated, illegal, unlawful transmitter. What I mean by that is it is a high gain dielectric lens antenna. And what that allows 5G transmitters to do is to 3D map its environment in your home. The 868 megahertz frequency is specific for battlefield interrogation systems, so sub gigahertz. It allows the signal to travel through concrete brickwork with ease, and it can actually uh, data gather. It is a target acquiring system. Phased array is basically radar off the battlefield. It is extremely good at identifying targets and being able to lock on the targets. And not only that, it can specifically target you as an individual. So any judge sitting on a, uh, an interesting case, let's say, any lawyer, any barrister, anybody doing any work that is potentially controversial, your life could be a threat. So the antenna design that you currently have on top of these LED streetlights, masquerading as a control management system, it basically battlefield interrogation equipment. Metalized particulates uh, that would allow the 5G phased array, so basically the radar, it would allow it to be able to identify you, so it can watch you, it can identify you in your own home, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. 